Hello everybody. Welcome to Everyday English number five. And today we're going to discuss going to see a doctor. We will discuss the vocabulary you need, the forms you'll be asked for, the types of doctors. So let's get started with that. We're going to talk about the different types of doctors. As we review these types of doctors, you'll notice there's a lot of Greek and Latin terminology in the names. Okay, our first doctor would be a general practitioner, a family, or sometimes called your primary doctor. And this is the person you go to when you first get sick. Now we're going to look at some specialists. Our first specialist will be gastrointestinal or GI. And this doctor deals with stomach issues. Orthopedic. This doctor deals with bones. Oncologist. Cancer doctor. And onco is Greek for tumor. Podiatrist. Foot doctor. And pod is Greek for foot. Problems with your skin? You want to see a dermatologist. Neurologist, nervous system and brain. Gynecologist, deals with the female body. Obstetrician, deals with the lady when she's pregnant or prenatal. After the child is born, pediatrician. A person specializing in heart issues would be a cardiologist. Psychiatrist. Study of the mind. From the Latin word dent, meaning tooth, dentist. And the person that reads your x-ray, radiologist. Okay, let's look at some alternative medicine or non-traditional ways to address illnesses. Chiropractor. Manipulates the spine and bones. Acupuncturist. Uses needles to alleviate pain and treat various conditions. Holistic healer. Uses herbs, diet, meditation, or other non-traditional ways and all natural. Let's talk about the forms you'll need to fill out and things that you'll be asked to produce. The first person you will see when you go to the doctor is the receptionist. She will greet you hand you some forms to fill out, ask you for your insurance information, and a picture ID. The first form is patient information. Your name, your address, where do you work, your age, your sex, responsible party. The responsible party is who's paying for the bill. If you have children, you are the responsible party. It will also ask for emergency contact or next of kin. And that's who do they get in touch with in case they have an emergency with you. The next form is medical history. Any illnesses you may have had, any surgeries, any allergies. They'll ask about your family history. They'll ask, do you drink? Do you smoke? Do you take recreational drugs? Recreational drugs would be something like marijuana. Picture ID. Insurance card. If you have more than one insurance carrier, the second one would be a supplemental carrier. And the first would be your primary carrier. Medicare card. Deductible is the accumulative yearly amount you must reach before your insurance would start paying. Copay is the part of bill you are responsible for. Medicine label. Be very careful with this. Be sure you understand vocabulary like dosage. That's how much you take. Quantity. How many you take. Frequency. How many times a day. When. What time of the day do you take it. Do you take it with food. Then of course check your expiration or take by date. Medicine warning labels. 
extremely colorful on purpose so you'll see them. Be sure to read all of the warnings. Things the nurse might say. I'm going to check your weight. Let's check your blood pressure. We will need a urine sample. Do you have any allergies? I'm going to draw some blood. The doctor will be right in. Things the doctor might say. What seems to be the problem? What are your symptoms? How long have you had these symptoms? Does this hurt? I will prescribe some medication for you. I will give you something for the pain. I want to run some tests. I am sending you for an x-ray. I am going to have the nurse draw blood. I am sending you to a specialist. Your cholesterol is a little high. You need to lose some weight. You need to get more exercise. Things the patient might say. I have had the pain for a few days. I have been nauseous for over a week. I have been thrown up in the morning. I have a rash that won't go away. Will it need stitches? I have a little insomnia. Is it going to hurt? I have a lump here. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say it is a 7. Listen and learn. When did you last come in for a physical exam? I had my last physical two years ago. Do you have any other exam recently? Blood work, an EKG or an ultrasound? No, just a few x-rays at the dentist. How have you been feeling in general? Pretty well. No complaints, really. Could you roll up your left sleeve? I would like to take your blood pressure. Sure thing, doctor. 120 over 80. That's fine. You don't seem to be overweight. That's good. Do you exercise? No, not really. I know I need to do a little bit more. That would be a good idea. How about you die? Pretty well, doctor. Once in a while I go a little crazy with chicken wings. But overall, I really eat a balanced diet. That's good. Now, I'm going to listen to your heart. Whoa, that's cold. Don't worry. Now, breathe in and hold your breath. Everything sounds good. Open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. Uh. Okay, everything looks chip shape. I'm going to draw some blood work and that's about it. Take this and slip to the front desk and they will arrange an appointment for the test. Thank you, doctor. How long have you been having this pain? For a couple months. It hurts when I eat some foods, but not all types of foods. Let's get to the bottom of this. Have you changed your eating habits during this period? No, not really. Well, on second thought, I'm eating the same foods, but eating less. And the pain, it comes and goes. How strong is the pain exactly? On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you describe the intensity of the pain? Around a 3, but it just keeps coming back. How long does the pain last when you get it? When I do get the pain, it lasts about 30-45 minutes. 
Is there a type of food that seems to cause a stronger pain than other types? Any fried foods or a tomato-based dish like lasagna? I have been trying to avoid these. Does the pain travel to any other parts of your body, chest, shoulder, or back? Or does it remain around the stomach area? Just in the stomach area, doctor. Okay, don't worry. We'll go run some tests, figure out what's going on. Hello, doctor. Good afternoon. Have a seat, please. So, what have you come in for today? I've been a little under the weather and I've had a persistent cough. Not running a fever, I've checked my temperature. Hmm, I see. How long have you had these symptoms? The cough's been with me for about two weeks and I've been feeling kind of bad the last couple days. You having any other problems? I've had a little headache and just a little bit of diarrhea. Do you produce any flame when coughing? Yes, occasionally. Do you smoke? When I was younger, but not now. What about allergies? Do you have any allergies? Not that I know of. Does your head feel stuffy? Yes, for the past few days. Okay, I think it might be the bug. That's going around, but to make sure we will run some tests. 